arsenic. Its first aid usage is usually for the digestive disturbances. I guess it's for that that it's most famed. It's terrible, terrible, terrible pain due to some foul food. And as, as arsenicum constitutional type, that is to say, somebody with an arsenicum susceptibility is very sensitive to the purity of food. So some people, you know, have to be really careful. And if they get sick, my God, they get sick. And they probably will need a remedy like arsenicum. So what happens? At the worst, you're vomiting and diarrheaing at the same time which is kind of difficult because if you've got a toilet to sit on, you also need a bucket to puke in. And uh, because you can't choose which one to do first. And you become so exhausted, the exhaustion is out of proportion to the suffering, at least from the outside. You, you can't imagine that it would be like this. For the person who's suffering it, that's just how it is. Um, they don't have the energy to get the arnica. The um, arsenic, I'm sorry. They don't have the energy to make the move to the remedy. They're that sick. Somebody else has got to do it for them. I mean, if you wake up in the night after having food poisoned yourself, and if you're in arsenic state, you might just, if you're lucky, make it to the bathroom. If you're lucky. You certainly haven't got the added energy to get the remedy. Anyway, you can't leave the bathroom because you're puking or diarrheaing bad situation. There's burning pain too. And you'd be very squirmy. That's another horrible thing. You haven't got the energy to get the remedy, but you want to squirm all the time because you're so restless internally. So you want to actually go from place to place because you don't want to remain any place for any length of time, but you haven't got the energy to do it. It often plays itself out in the mind. The mind just gets very squirmy too about death. Aconite says, in two hours I'm going to be dead, and that's for sure. Arsenicum says, yeah, this is it, this is, I'm so sick. I reckon this could be it. Doesn't predict the hour, but it's just the feeling of the sinking strength. If my strength goes down any further, I'm going to die. And there's, you know, if it's the middle of the night, which is a bad time for arsenicum, always worse at night. If there's no one around to look after you, that's it. What Arsenicum wants is somebody around to look after them because they feel at home well. What else can we say about Arsenicum in the acute? Hmm, no, that probably covers it for most acutes. Mostly the acutes will go there. The individual who needs Arsenicum on at a, you know, what we call the constitutional level is, um, is somebody who needs to control everything. They need to be in control of all the little details in order to feel, in order to keep the anxiety assuaged. They need to be in control. So they tend to be very tidy, meticulously careful about where things go, how they're arranged. Fastidious. It is a driven, compulsive fastidiousness. They can't rest until things are in their proper place. What a nightmare.